Boradaichi Achroiso, welcome to the second day of the Dragon's Back race. The southern part of Erari Snowdonia awaits these runners, 59 kilometers and 3,400 meters of ascent. As you can see, many of them are making their way towards the start line here at 6 a.m., making the most of the cool air before the heat warms them up over the Moilunion and Rhinogiv. They're small but mighty mountains. There's a certain gnarliness to them, so nobody can underestimate them because today will be mostly a mental test as well as a physical one. Ready for day two? Looking forward to it. Uh, plan, um, move at a steady pace. Obviously, bearing in mind the heat, um, and just stay on top of hydration, uh, fueling as well, so it should be good. Good afternoon, I'm here in Cumbachan. To my right, we have the Roman steps, which are the gateway to the treacherous and challenging Rhinogiv Mountains, which in my opinion, my humble opinion, is most probably one of the toughest terrain in this race to navigate over, up and down, swiftly and safely. But before that, we have the support point. Now, because of today's temperature, so we've got 30 degrees Celsius down in the valley, 16 to 90 degrees Celsius on top of the mountains with 20 to 30 mile per hour winds, the race organizers have allowed the athletes to have 30 minutes in the support point, a chance for them to take on lots more water to let their core temperature drop down ready for the second part of the day. After all, safety is paramount, isn't it? What do you reckon, will you be taking a rest here or, or carrying on? No, carrying on. Just have a bit of food. Get some sweets. Some water, a bit of cool down. Keep going, I think. They'll take that 30 minutes off their total time and they're giving them an extra half hour at the end of the day to get to Dolgellai. So, cut off tonight will be half past ten. Although the dragon's been breathing fire on the runners today, the atmosphere here at Camp 2 is one full of optimism. There's lots of laughter, there's music in the big tent, the runners have been dipping their toes in the river, and of course, there's a big sigh of relief having conquered two very technical and tough days on the mountains. Tomorrow, it's time for the longest stage of the week, it's 70 kilometers, but also one of the fastest. Another good point about tomorrow is a chance for some ice cream in Machenlef. <laughs> 